Well, Chelsea took a big L this weekend in the League Cup final against Liverpool. Yes, they had their chances. Yes, there were some controversial calls. And yes, we did not win our PK shootout. Roll the intro. For those that don't know who I am, my name is Mike, huge fan of the Premier League, but also huge fan of Chelsea. If you agree with that, they're the best team in London, make sure to hit the like button. I greatly appreciate that. Now, yesterday, the League Cup final happened between Liverpool and Chelsea. Jurgen Klopp versus Thomas Tuchel. This was a cracker of a game. It had pretty much everything you wanted to except goals. Yes, there were goals, but they were called off sides. A few controversial calls. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But this game was just back and forth between both teams. There were chances when Liverpool looked like they were on top. Then there were chances where Chelsea looked like on top. Then there were some counterattacks from Liverpool, some counterattacks from Chelsea. And like I said, both keepers played out of their mind as well because I'm surprised there weren't more goals in this game. Applaud Mendy what he did. Yes, he didn't go into the PK shooter, which uh, that is up in the air as of right now. I'm not too sure. There may have been a decision before this game that Kepa would have been going in as a sub if they went to PKs because he's done very well this entire season. And therefore, I'm not too sure if maybe that decision was made beforehand or right before they went to PK shoots because Mende played out of his freaking mind this whole game. You're thinking he's got the confidence to go in this PK shoot and maybe win it for Chelsea. Yes, like I said, I do understand where it came from to put on Kepa because like I said, he's won us multiple shoots this season, but it did not work out for Chelsea. As we saw, 11 shots did go in for Kepa. Maybe should have blocked one or two, especially the Virgil van Dijk. He even stood off to the right side a little bit more and even guessed the right way. And Virgil van Dijk even knew that and still shot in that direction and just stared him down after scoring the goal, which at that point, you're thinking that may have rocked Kepa's, you know, his thought process, his confidence. And maybe that's what really threw Kepa off after that, because like I said, Kepa just could not get a hand onto any of them or save any of them. And as we saw, he then ended up going on to miss the last shot, which I don't fault him for that. Being a goalkeeper, if you're up to grab to, you know, score a goal in the PK shield, yes, you should score. But if you miss it, it's not the end of the world. You're not expected to be taking it at the 11th round. So that being said, I'm not too sure if Thomas Tuchel did make the right decision there. But again, had Kepa saved a bunch and we won the game, he would have thought being a genius putting Kepa on. So again, I don't fault Tuchel or Kepa for that. Now, going off of that though, there was a goal with Romelu Lukaku who I think was on sides. I'm not too sure. It was very, very close. And VAR for some reason used... Lukaku's arm which as we know you cannot score with your arm and I don't know why that was used because it looked like Virgil van Dijk and Lukaku were pretty much right on top of each other when you drew that line and therefore I thought he was onside which obviously would have been a huge goal for Chelsea in this game but it just did not happen and on top of that there was maybe a questionable red card here or there now I'm talking about Keta. And you could argue that maybe he shouldn't have got a red card on the challenge for Chalaba. But the fact is that he elbowed Mason Mount early in the game, which got no card. And you're looking at that, that, that probably should have been a yellow card. And then does have the studs up on Chalaba on that tackle and therefore didn't get a single card for that either. Really begs the question what the ref was doing in this match. Yes, I know there was probably a few other calls. Conte did get away with a lot of fouls in this game too, and maybe he should have been sent off. It's hard to really say, but the refing in this game was maybe average at best. I think it could have been better. Yes, in a cup final, it's very difficult because there is a lot of intensity going on, a lot of anger between players, as we saw with Trent Alexander-Arnold and Kai Havertz, that kind of face-to-face, -face, as you saw. But like I said, this game just was not going Chelsea's way. Now, as I spoke about this, Mason Mount just was not having his day. As you saw in this game, he missed an easy, easy chance, I'll say, and then hit the post on another opportunity. And you're just thinking this is not his day. And when he hit the post, as a fan, I was thinking it wasn't going to be Chelsea's day either because that was a clear-cut opportunity for Chelsea to put the game away or at least get the lead. 
and it just wasn't going their way. Yes, Liverpool also had their chances. There was a controversial call on their end as well, but I think it was the right call. Virgil van Dijk was holding back Reese James, who was in the offside position, which then lead to Liverpool's goal. So I think that was the correct call. Had they have not given it though, I think I would have been a little upset at the time, but again, it would have made sense as well. But like I said, just everything wasn't working well for our attacking third, which is not brand news to Chelsea fans as we've seen before. But our defense, I do want to talk about them and how well they performed. Chalaba definitely looked amazing today. Coming back from injury, playing a full match against Louise. <laughs> Had to think about who for a second who just was running all over the pitch. Rudiger as well, who was head of face Mohamed Salah, and both those guys did really, really well to shut those players down. And like I said, yes, Liverpool did have their chances as well, but Mendy just was on top of his game today as well, blocked multiple shots, including that rebound shot by Mane that I still know how he saved that as well. So overall, very happy with the performance for Chelsea. Yes, it would have been great to get the win, lift up another cup, for this season, but it did not happen. Now, Liverpool, on the other hand, we do need to talk about them because this is a big win for them. Because now with them winning that cup, that is going to give them a lot of momentum in the Premier League, I believe, which again is going to give them more of an advantage going into when they play Manchester City and possibly catching up to Manchester City, who right now are starting to falter a little bit. They got a little lucky over the weekend. I know there's some controversial calls in that as well. No one understands VAR anymore, but they did beat Everton barely. But I think Liverpool right now are just sniffing them out a little bit, gaining that momentum and may pass them up. Yes, it will still be a very hard task for Liverpool. And I think Manchester City are sensing that. They're right behind them now. And now they might start being a little more worried when they play, a little more anxious, maybe making a few more mistakes, which could lead to goals from other teams. And therefore, we do have a title race on our hands right now. I don't think Chelsea are still going to come up into this title race. Yes, they are in third place. And things could happen where they still could, you know, get up into that close position, be maybe second if not first, but it's really, really slim for them. But Liverpool right now have a good opportunity. I think for Klopp, what he's done at this club, he's done a phenomenal job. And therefore, I have to applaud the manager and the team for Liverpool because, again, they are just an elite club right now. And I said that even going into this game, if you didn't watch that video, that I predicted Liverpool to win this, even though I said my heart won Chelsea. My brain was saying Liverpool, and I thought it was going to go a PK shoot because both these teams are are doing very, very well. Both managers are at the top of their game right now and getting the best of their players. So I want to know what you guys think about that match. What are your comments? What are your takeaways from this? What do you thought about the refing? Should there have been a red card? Should there have been a Lukaku goal? How the PK should have went better for Thomas Tuchel and Keppa? But I want to know what you guys think. So comment down below. And that is all I have for you today. And that is my cat, Momo. So say hi to him as well. So that is all I have for you today. And I will see you next time.